Now, troubled airline South African Airways says that it is committed to navigate the turbulent skies it is currently in and, of course, remain afloat. The national airline has had to be bailed out by the Treasury to the tune of $1.5 billion and only recently published its 2015-2016 financial results. Now, it is among state-run agencies seen as putting undue pressure on South Africa's economy that, of course, is teetering on a downgrade. What I can promise is that we will do everything within our power to ensure that we do business in an unusual way. And also, we work towards ensuring that we turn the airline back to its uh, operational efficiency as well as financial sustainability. Obviously, we, like any other airline, experiencing the same problems in, in Nigeria in terms of fuel. But it's not to the extent that we are going to cut the frequencies. We are currently uh, uh, reviewing that, we're reviewing it on an ongoing get more on the company. Angelo Coppola now joins us in Johannesburg. Angelo, as always, welcome to the show. Now, we know at Wednesday's uh, present presentation of the medium-term budget, we heard the finance minister uh, give some harsh words for South African Airlines. Uh, the Treasury had issued about 19.1 billion rand, uh, a 19.1 billion rand guarantee facility for the company. Now, has there been any progress at the airline so far? Well, that guarantee, uh, around $370 million of that guarantee came in in September, and that meant that the business now is a going concern. Well, that's just for the meantime. The challenge is that according to the chief financial officer there, the loss-making trend from the 2015-2016 uh, year end seems to be continuing in the current financial year, and we're already six months into the new year. The airline has a long-term strategy. They say that they're working with. Uh, it looks like it's going to be dropped for a short-term three-month plan. The chair was saying uh, this afternoon that they're brainstorming a new strategy and action plan in December, and a longer-term plan will probably get developed from that. And of course, we've also got to bear in mind that their woes will probably get worse if the currency weakens, uh, because 60% um, of their fuel costs are in hard currency. So uh, it's a difficult situation that the airline finds itself in right now, Richard. Mm. Now, Angelo, the Treasury did say that they were also exploring a possible merger uh, between SAA and, of course, SA Express, which is a regional uh, airline. They're also looking into engaging uh, potentially with a min minority equity partner. Now, give us some insight into the discussions taking place there. Well, at the moment, there are those discussions around uh, Express Airways and also the uh, low-cost airline Mango. All those discussions will be part of this new strategy that, um, we were heard, that we heard about today for the first time. The chair says that she can't preempt any talks on mergers or equity partners because their strategy hasn't been signed off by the shareholder, which is the National Treasury. So we're going to have to hang on a bit for that. The analysts, though, that I've spoken to have said that a merger won't work. The airlines service different market sectors, they use different types of planes, and the maintenance programs are different, as well as, probably most importantly, the business models. So we're also hearing that the low-cost airlines that are in competition to those, um, those three airlines, A SAA, Express, and Mango, are cutting into the market share of those three airlines and into their profits. So in terms of an equity partner, well, no one's put up their hands just yet, but it's unlikely that anyone's going to want a minority stake, which is the 25% that seems to be on offer at the moment. So we're going to have to wait until January before we hear what SAA's new strategy is going to be, Ucha. Mm. Well, at this stage, uh, give me some more insight into the outlook for the company. Are we going to see some more uh, aggressive cost cutting and, of course, further restructuring uh, of the company? Well, the prognosis, according to the analyst, isn't that good. Um, the current guarantee, I'm told, will probably keep the airline in good standing for the current financial year. Um, there is a more hands-on approach from National Treasury. There was a board meeting today just before that AGM. Uh, then there was a briefing session with the journalists. And then the board went back into another board meeting with the uh, deputy finance minister, so it seems that there are a lot more hands-on. There was also news of a shareholder compact that's been signed between the board and the shareholder in terms of KPIs. And this is probably a first for this board and for uh, a board at an SOE. Um, they'll be measured every three months. 
In mm. terms of job cuts, well, that's a sensitive area there. SAA still features amongst the top um, staff to airplane ratios in the world, and their biggest cuts being that fuel cost. If they're going to cut uh, costs, they're going to have to cut planes, which means they'll cut fuel costs and save there, but they're probably going to then lose jobs. So it's a bit of a tough situation. We're going to have to see how the next three to six months plays out, though. Which mm. Well, many thanks, Angelo, for those insights. Of course, Angelo Coppola joining us in Johannesburg.